Hiya. I just wanted to update you quickly because you will notice that our music has changed in this vlog. So we're just hitting the point with our channel where I think we can start making like one or two half peas on our vlogs. We've got a little way to go to um, sort of make money on it because I think you need a thousand subscribers to do that. Um, but what we discovered is because the music we've been using is copyright, it's it's free to use. So people create this music so you can use it. You just have to obviously acknowledge that they're the creator of it. But what we didn't realise is, I think if we understand it rightly, is we can't monetize a video if we're using music which is copyrighted to someone else. I think that's correct so our decision now is either to leave the videos that we've put up as they are but then we can never monetize them in the future or we have to change the music re-upload them and then we lose all our views and stuff on them as that have happened so far so we're gonna have to look into it a little bit more but we've started this video with new music which has been created by um, a friend of ours, Lawrence. You're an absolute legend. I messaged him. Um, what day are we on now? We're on Thursday. And I messaged him on Tuesday to say, help, we need some music creating. And he's very kindly offered to create this for us for free. Um, absolutely amazing. So we can use it in the videos. Yeah, and he, he'd done them by the evening, so he's done us a few few little uh, snippets, which I'll put the names of them on as well, because that's quite interesting. Yeah, so that's absolutely brilliant. Thanks again, thanks again Lawrence, <laughs> for doing that so quickly for us. Um, and I hope you enjoy the vlog with the new music on, and I'll keep you updated on how that all works in terms of like the costings and stuff because it's something we didn't realise when we started the channel. Right, I'm going to finish editing now. See you in a bit. Just getting all the stuff out to start the roof jobs but we've immediately got distracted by the cormorant and just under its wing, I don't know if you can see that if I zoom in, it's a, a big terrapin. I'll try it. I'll, we've got a picture of it on the other camera, so I'll show you it. It's not often you see that. Just getting in position. The brush is a bit too big to fit in the pot. Always don't do this, that going on. <laughs> I need a smaller brush. This is just um, screwing the feet back on to the boxes. Let's add another coat of paint. Looking very nice. Just got the other two to do now. Right then, that's box number two painted. We've cleaned the roof. Box number one is done. And coming along nicely. We've been going back and forth with what to do about the roof because <clears throat> there's quite a few sort of rust patches, little bits and bobs look everywhere. It's quite bad where the um, fire is. So I think we've made a decision we're going to paint the roof, all of it. Well, that's today's plan. And then 
the hatch is still one on our list to do, so we'll perhaps tackle that at the same time. And we'll want to paint the stern as well, so nice weather, so we'll see what we get done. Okay then, the roof boxes are painted. Just shimmy up here and show you the last one. I'll show you what Chris is doing now. They look really good. Happy with them, aren't we? Nice, yeah. yeah. So the next... Put, like, the boat numbers on there. Yeah, we're going to get, get some like boat the number. The numbers you get for your front door that you screw on. Yeah. That type of, like a white plastic. Right? So we're going to have a look for them. But now, let me get on the boot. We've started the job of looking... Prepping the roof. For all the rough, rough patches, rust patches. This uh, I haven't been clean yet, by the way, before you uh, judge my cleaning skills. So as you can see, the angle grinder has come out again. Yes. And Chris can explain what he's doing. <laughs> the, the rust patches have led us to this. Look at this. Monster. <laughs> Rust so if you remember we did like a bit of a temporary job really to get us through winter and now it well and truly needs sorting out yeah and we're sort of in two months about getting a diesel heater instead aren't we yes and getting rid of the diesel stuff. so if anyone's watching this who's got one um i'd like to know how you getting on with it really because we're considering it um, fed up with the mess that, that these Coal fires caused the dust in the boat, storing the coal and the wood. It's mm. getting it in winter when you're on the cut, to you be know. Honest, it's not that cheap. No. So anyway, it's so. Can you see? He started doing a little bit. So he's been angle grinding it's a bit that. Pitted, but it's okay. So the sort of stages are. Oh, let me turn you around. The stages are. We've got to clean all this up. Then. Angle grind it if it needs it. Rush and treatment. Rush treatment filler. on it. Filler. Red oxide. Red oxide. <laughs> yeah, you've seen, you've seen us do it before with the gas locker and stuff. But we've got to get some of this stuff, this gritty stuff, to go in between. Otherwise, these will look like just flat patches. Yeah. So we're trying to find something. The trouble is, I don't know what this is but it's really coarse mm. it's not like the fine sand it's, yeah. it's more like bits of grit yeah. isn't it i did watch a guy who did it with um cornmeal and the cornmeal it's like a bit like porridge oats soaks up the paint in, into the actual bits and makes it rock hard so i'm tempted to try something mm. like that because there's only going to be these patches and then we're just going to paint over there, so we'll see how that goes. So I'm going to finish cleaning that side because I've just started doing that. Yeah, and then we'll see how that goes. Okay then, first sort of run of the dice on the roof done. So it's all been cleaned, so we can find out where all the rust patches are, which Chris has already started on. We've had a bit of a clean up. These the poles come out quite well. Look, so we're going to paint the rest of these because we've got enough paint left. That's a job. The solar panels are looking good. Look, just got a little bit of cleaning up to do around there. Oops, sorry about that. Look, even the ropes have been sorted properly. So you can see where Chris got to with this look. So he's got off all the bits of rust. He's got to do a little bit more, filler it. And then that'll be ready for painting. Again, hatch on the list. Another roof box done. And then again, the hatch on the list for painting. What looks much better. Look at that. Someone just walked past and said it looks beautiful. I'll take that. Give you another run up the roof. I think now it's time for a coffee. Good morning. It's 
a feels like a long time uh, since we cruised. Oh, he's got his coffee on. Look, coffee and sunshine. Where are we now? Let me think. So you will have watched the Thames vlogs, which, by the looks of it, people have enjoyed the first one. Amazing experience. Loved it. Like to do it again. We spent a week in Brentford, just um, quite close to Brentford, wasn't it? Just yep. like walking distance in. Where you will have seen, I would have start showing where we've been doing the boxes, painting the boxes and prepping the roof, ready to paint. So we've done a few more jobs like that. Then last week we cruised from Brentford to, is this classed as not? Norwood top Green, isn't it? Norwood, no, top, Norwood top, lock. top Lock. So we cruised to there and we've been, been there. Yeah, massive fish in here. We, we cruised to Norwood Green and we've been here just over a week. It's uh, Wednesday today. And we are off back down the Paddington Arm, somewhere where we cruised before, because I am going to Jersey tomorrow for my birthday weekend celebrations with my pals over there. So I'm leaving Chris Boat alone. I made him a list. Catch away. I made him a list. List of jobs. Um, you know, painting the roof, painting the stern. Uh, what else? Sure, I can find you some more jobs Not to soon. do. <laughs> So that's the plan and then once we've done, once I'm back from Jersey, which will be next Monday, actually come back on my birthday, we are then staying in Paddington for one night, again on the floating pontoons where we were before. Actually they're not floating pontoons are they? They are. Are they? Oh they are. Well, I think they are, they're the pontoons. Yeah, maybe they don't float. And then we are cruising back through Camden again and then onto the River Lee, which is a new navigation for us. We've not done that before. Oh. Pardon? Oh, yeah, it's been a while since we've been somewhere new. Been sort of hanging around London. Very nice it has been, but we're ready to have a bit of countryside again. Although London's so green, it's, I think it's so different to what people imagine it to be. Especially oh, just on the, yeah, just on the outskirts, full of green spaces you know parks and it's lovely we've really enjoyed it yeah, it's right it's busy isn't it? yeah it. it's just busy when you get into parks like any cities it's oh it's a cormorant going past there i don't know if you can see it another cormorant oh. <laughs> don't know why i'm ducking it's not gonna hit me i don't know if you can see it okay then so i'm gonna finish my coffee now we've got a wash on and I will see you in a bit. Right, you might think I'm showing you this nice bridge, but actually look at them boxes. They look good. All been painted. Just got to put the numbers on and then you can see where we're getting ready to paint the roof and it's rush treatment. Look so much better, don't they? I wish I'd done them now before we did the London trip. <laughs> Always a job. We are moored at just near Bulls Bridge. That is the entrance to the Paddington Arm. If you remember when we turned up here, we couldn't see the sign. It's so tiny. It's weird to be back here. Sorry, there's a lorry behind me. It's weird to be back here when um, when we came down here we were all sort of thinking what it was going to be like doing Paddington Basin, what the Camden was going to be like, what the Thames was going to be like and we've done it all now. Sadly there's a familiar sight on this stretch, a sunken boat. And we're moored up here, Bulls Bridge visitor mooring. You can actually stay here for a, a day for free, look. And there is a water point. We are filling up using our gadget. Uh, 148 litres have gone in so far. 
and then Chris has just gone over to Tesco's just there to get some shopping so it's a great great spot and once we've done all this we'll be going down there having some lunch to give you another view of the boxes look at them rippers this is all the roof that's been filled now ready to have the grit stuff put in and then painted and then we need to look at this hatch because you will have seen the water pouring in the other day when we had a massive downpour. <laughs> Not ideal having a waterfall inside your boat. I'm looking forward to getting all this paint a look. All blue, it looked great. And the stern, another job still to be done. All right, here we go. Down the Paddington Arm again. Coming from a different direction. Just filled up at the water point filled up with shopping now we're on his way back down here well we're doing well today washing is all hanging up to dry like I just said Chris has been and got the shopping so it's a bit noisy got some important supplies beer beer and crisps bread. and bread all the important things he needs when he's on his own and noodles I think Okay, so we're going to go and find somewhere tomorrow up down here. Get some jobs done for me at the dinette. Get the vlog finished to upload for this weekend before I go away. And then possibly a little bit of time chilling on the stern with a coffee. Enjoying this glorious weather. All my family and friends keep um, moaning at me because I keep sharing pictures of the sunshine and it's proper grim up north my friend um, Carla went shopping I think it was yesterday and she got absolutely soaked and nearly struck by lightning getting back into a car bless her she uh, I think she managed to get herself some chips to calm herself down Thank you.